Hello and welcome, I am the Goblet King. Today we're picking up with Laptrop from the last episode. If you did not catch it, I highly recommend checking up for watching this one. The goal today is to clear the halted steam camp, do some light hunting on our way to the camp, and uh, set up and start working a little bit of blacksmithing. I got a little bit, a little plan up an old noggin of mine how to do that. So let's get on it. Before we really get anything done, I hush woman, I'm trying to talk. Before we get anything done, I need to take care of this, this sleepiness that's going to probably end up killing me if I don't deal with it soon. Uh, I've never actually rented a room from the Silver Blood Inn. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever actually done the quest on them. I might have done it once, but didn't fully understand it. But uh, I guess all this stuff is mine. I can take it. Free food. Sleepy time. On the carriage we go. I would like to head back to Whiterun, please. I can click it correctly. Sometimes the interface gets kind of fucky. We'll Hi-ho! Sometimes I wish I had a better PC so I could really enjoy Skyrim on the highest graphics possible. Because right now it looks like a moonscape the way I'm looking over at this this hill here. Um, it really lets me know all the, all the goodies that are hidden. Most of the things that render are things I can pick up. Makes it a little bit easier. Like this big guy. I probably wouldn't have seen him if there's tall grass everywhere. I'm getting better at archery, just like damage-wise and actually accuracy-wise. Fucking missed that one, of course I did. One of these days. Took a second, but I was able to track him down again. I'm actually really enjoying the hunting. I know I've said that like every episode, but I, I really am. It's a lot of fun now that I'm getting into it for some reason. I don't know why. Hunting fictional deer in a fictional world with fictional arrows is just rewarding to me. I'd very much like to find some of the, like, the small mud crabs. So I've been reading up on like leveling. Gosh, I missed that one. Leveling and like faster ways to do it. And uh, you know, uh, mud crabs, the little ones, are one of the better ways at leveling light armor on the or any armor really at the early levels. I think if I might get enough armor, it might be make increase my survivability. You know, but you're just supposed to let them hit you. I'm afraid the big ones do too much damage right now. Because well, I want to wait and do it on a small one, but I, I haven't found one yet. I know there's some spawn way out there. If you follow the water, they got their own little like crab pool, I guess. But uh, I might do that in a future video where I hunt me down some crabs and just kind of sit there and let him beat my ass for a while while I, I use healing magic. Just get some levels, you know. It's been a pretty successful hunt so far, and it doesn't take me too long at all. Bop. Take it right in the ass. I've been trying to remember what some of this, uh, these here, these these tundra cottons do. I'm thinking this like frost resistant, but it might be fire resistant. It might be like counter contrary. What the fuck is that? Yeah, I think that's, just, that's definitely a fucking saber cat, dude. I don't remember one spawning there. And this is like this is my usual like leveling path. I'll go around the back and kind of there's some wolves to spawn over there. I know there's bandits on the other side of White Run, but I, I, I've never encountered a a saber cat, or as I like to to call them, a game ender. It will just end me entirely. I don't want to. I want to start over. But I'm gonna avoid that. I, I I have no idea how I could deal with that. To be honest with you. Uh, hmm. Maybe a long enough shot. Like that, except you know, not tiny and pathetic like a fox, but a saber cat. When guns were first invented, people. Uh, were hesitant at first because why would they use a gun when it's slow and inaccurate and hard to reload in comparison to an arrow which is fast and efficient well it usually came down to the idea that at the time with wars and such they had a marching band that fired behind them there they would uh you have a, a war drum going well a arrow does not give a sound wait who the fuck is this i'm gonna check him out let me finish this thought a gun has its own war drum behind it, the boom, the sound. It's supposed to intimidate. I don't think he's going to borrow that one, so I'm just going to peace on out, I guess. Later, dude. Here are these wolves I was telling you about earlier. I've, I've cleared this camp so many times, I know the path over there. That's why the saber cat's throwing me off, because I've never seen one there. <sighs> I need to get better at this, shooting archery. This should be a pretty easy fight. I might want to start backing up a little bit, though. No, look at that. That was like so much damage. I suck when they strafe though. Come here. Let me stab you from way over here. Fuck. I feel like there's a delay. 
I might, might, yeah, got him. Take that. I really like this position for uh, assault in the camp because you get this nice little uh, you know, arch you can hit people from above. Makes it a lot easier to get some stuff off. Um, accuracy wise, so it's pretty much just me going to be shooting them and then sneaking away. So there I go, sneak, sneak, sneak. Fuck this guy cutting wood. Just cinematically, this just looks fucking great. Like, can you imagine what it's like from their perspective? You're just chopping wood all the time, and then boom, you're stabbed from so many kilometers away. And it's kind of nice when you actually get the kill on them. They don't really know where you are sometimes, if they didn't see the guy die. Makes it a lot easier to get these shots lined up. And there's a fucking mage down there. I should have known. I've done this so many times, I know there's a mage here. Mages are a pain in the ass because they get access to healing magic. And healing magic is a straight fucking thorn under my nail. It, it's, it pisses me off. Because the way I shoot people, it's, it's uh, not like a lot of damage sometimes. It's periodic damage over a long period of time. Well, he has unlimited mana pretty much. He can just keep fucking healing himself. So it makes the fights with mages a little bit more difficult. Because he has the power of like arcane destruction to unmake me, basically. And all I have to do is get lucky and hope that he takes a knee and then I can double shot him. Let's see what loot we got. Uh, longbow. I don't need that. I'm definitely going to take his uh, uh, like iron arrows off of him. Uh, it says that I, like, the longbow is better than what I have, but I, I know for a fact that it isn't, so it's not calculating something right. Mm, I don't want to wait. Yeah, we've just now discovered the camp. Awesome. Uh, this guy has a bandana, I think. A potion, I'm taking that. I don't know, usually I just kind of loot everything. But the way that like weight is, and I know there's gonna be a lot of stuff in the inside there. I don't really. <laughs> this guy just looks like he's he just he's taking a nap. <laughs> he's a little. What the fuck is that? That's potentially game ending for me if one of those hit me. Like, can you imagine how shitty the playthrough would be if I just got killed by a stray ice bolt, and I'm already overburned, overburdened. But wait, over I'm over. This sucks. I thought the backpack would help more, but I guess I just need to go pick up my pack mule from Riverwood. I'm actually looting the camp like I did. I guess it's finally time to get on in here. I, I try to leave that trap untriggered because this fight fucking sucks. This whole camp sucks. Yeah, he's a fucking strong one. So I the pretty much the strategy that I'm going to have to implement is walking in and outside if he discovers me. If he doesn't discover me, I can kind of get away with it. I can walk out here, he doesn't chase me out here, I lose threat immediately, I'm not no longer in combat. So I can either wait it out or I can just like wait like let wait in game, but I'm not sure if I have the food like on me to do that. There, it did take too long for him to lose track of me. So it's just gonna be back and forth like that for a little bit. So the moment I'm I'm sort of looking for is when he takes a knee. He's taking enough damage that he goes, I yield. Like that. When he, he just yields and I kind of kill him. Which, it makes me sad that I, yeah, you have to finish somebody off. I kind of wish that I could, uh, you know, just kind of talk to, like, tell them to get out of town or something like that. Especially for killing the bandit chiefs. I wish I could tell them to get out of town. To do, like, a, you know, pacifist playthrough or whatever. I uh, guess I can't get too lucky. I'm going to that, spring that bear trap, pick up all these mushrooms. The guy didn't really have anything on him. Uh, I will need that pickaxe because it, it's going to apply here in a second. And if you you know this dungeon at all, you know what I'm going to go after to get that blacksmithing level. So pretty much the process that I'm going to be doing is back and forth until they all fucking die. That, <laughs> that's what you have to do because I don't do enough damage to one-hit anyone in here. Uh, I'm going to try and trigger those two because those do a, a good little bit of damage and it's free damage. You'll run into them. So of course there's another fucking mage down in these tunnels. I really, honestly dread doing massive ass dungeons with nothing but mages. Like, I'm gonna have to get like really good at poison or something like that. The strategy that I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm just kind of lowering them all the way like against the other wall. Fuck, she almost saw me. I'm, I'm lowering them all the way over there, and then you know, give them a one <laughs> good bop in the back of the head. We almost got her. And see, she's healing. That is such a pain. Because I don't do enough damage to consecutively hit someone like I would like to. Uh, I wonder if there's anything I can do. I, I might want to try like fighting him physically. I can equip that shield and it will uh, make my life a little bit easier. But 
It's not gonna shield fucking fire <laughs> blasting my face. Magic feels so weird. It's bad for the player, but it's good for NPCs. Because we have to clear an entire dungeon, but all they need to do is win one fight, and Magic's DPS is fucking bananas in a 1v1. If you can kill them before you run out of mana. It's kind of like a big gamble. Fuck this, I'm just going to keep plowing her down. Okay, yeah, awesome. That's all it takes. But son of a bitch is that difficult. And the dungeon music played when I killed the boss. She had some hefty fucking armor on. I think she picked it up from somebody. Oak flesh, don't mind if I do. A little bit of gold. I'm going to take all these potions. I'll never use them, so I'll sell them. Uh, what's this? Nothing. A box of bullshit. Carrots. Yeah, I just kind of killed them all by lining them up over here. I missed a bunch of... Like, I, that's all my decoy arrows that got them over there. I know there's a shout that you can get for it, but it's so early. And, ooh, that's kind of nice. That's pretty nice. Those are a lot better than what I have on. Sparks, don't mind if I do. I'm probably going to end up mining everything in here, too. That'll be the, the last part. Uh, I don't know why. I guess the mammoth behind me. Uh, I'm going to try and you know, uh, butcher him, but you you don't butcher him. I've tried. Oh, here's some destructible stuff. I'm pretty cool. Don't mind if I do. Uh, that's exactly what I needed. I was worried about losing that in the mess. I think there's an experience book here, too, maybe. Ooh, potions. Destructible Skyrim is pretty neat. I would recommend trying it in your playthrough. You don't, you won't notice it immediately, but like small fights like this, you will because just everything starts breaking. Yoink! I need that oak. I said oak. I need that iron for not oak flesh. Mineral exchange. I think is what it's called. <laughs> I'm sleepy, so I'll probably sleep in that bed. Uh, what do we have here? Nothing. That was pretty shit loot, to be honest. I can learn these books. I'll probably have a collection of books, too, at some point. That's the bounty I picked up earlier. Off camera. Oh, sleepy time. I'm going to wake up and I guess start carting this shit back. So the strategy that I'm going for is to use this transmutate. And what you do is you transmutate all your iron into silver and all your silver into gold. And then you make gold rings, I think, is one of the faster ways, because I'm pretty certain that you get experience based off how much something's worth now, instead of like actual effort when it comes to blacksmithing. Ooh, a key. I'm not sure what the key is for, but I have the key. And I can only use one cast, so I'm just gonna, I guess, mine all this iron until I get my mana back. I'll probably end up eventually just fucking waiting, I guess, and using <laughs> casting in between waiting an hour. That's gonna really drain my mana and shit. Ooh, I need that. One of a kind item. <laughs> Just start mining through his leg to get the iron. Wait, isn't that how you make uh, orcium, orc blood on top of iron? I think those give poison. There's a trap there. This is full of fucking traps. I like trying to run NPCs into them, but it's difficult sometimes. Uh, I'm thinking out here there's something small. But I'm pretty much going to be picking up this iron and then transmuting it all. I know I can butcher that deer, but I can't butcher the mammoth inside, and I don't know why. Ooh, coin purse. Hell yeah, brother. That ain't fucking worth it. Okay, now that we've made it back to town, I've been casting pretty much the entire time. Getting as much iron into everything else as I need. Uh... I guess we just make, that's kind of cool, you can make fur out of that, but uh, gold, gold pretty much, and silver if I have any. Just make a steel ingot. Oh, that's, that's breaking down my gear. Which I can equip some of that, I think it's better than what I have on, I haven't equipped it yet. So out of all of the transmuting that I did from the walk, while well, mining all of that inside the place and then walking back and forth. It isn't enough. But I can make a gold necklace and gold ring. That's pretty nice. I don't mind if I do. I'm not sure which one's better. 
Because I don't know if that means it needs two gold to make one gold ring, or if it's one for two. You know? Because if it's not, then it's it's more, it's better for me to make... I have a bunch of gems, too. That's pretty cool. I'm sure I'd need a lot of those for enchanting eventually, but I don't even want to think about getting soul gems right now. That just sounds... That's probably what I should be doing while hunting. I'm just gonna make rings. I guess it only takes one per, and it makes two rings. I don't know if that counts as 150 or if that counts as 75 each. But I'm just gonna keep making more gold. So after a lot of like trial and error of casting and then waiting and sleeping an hour, um, it doesn't really seem like it mattered a whole lot. I wasn't able to do it efficiently enough, and I kept running out of health. Uh, I started drinking mana potions just to like. I don't know, increase the speed a little bit. They don't really stack, so I have to like, only get like 50 mana back after five seconds or something like that. It's still a 10 second wait. It, it's just not worth my time, so I'm gonna make a bunch of iron ingots, I guess. Make uh, probably iron daggers. I don't know. Maybe something else. I'll, I'll see what I have materials for. I have a lot of leather too where I've been doing all that hunting. No, I don't wanna make that. Uh, let's see. Need to go over. Let's make the rest of our jewelry first, and we we'll keep making rings. They're semi easy to sell. There's a couple of vendors. I know like the mage vendors will buy it, and I can always walk my ass back to Riverwood and clear some more stuff out that way, and the River of Trader will buy them from me. They're worth a little bit. Uh, make some pretty cool looking gear, but I don't think the barbarian armor is better than the one that I have. So I got chainmail on right now. That's light armor. Given to me by the y'all, actually. I sort of skipped over that because I, I was <laughs> I was too busy cutting up mud crabs. Uh, weapons. I can make arrows. That's kind of cool. Make firewood. That actually come in pretty handy because economically arrows are really expensive. And I can just keep mining iron, or I can break down iron from other stuff. Ooh, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, let's see. I can sort of by value. I can make an iron double axe for 70. But it costs a lot to make it. So is it worth it? I get 10 per iron dagger, but it only costs one. I don't know. I'm going with the old strategy. I'll just keep mashing and making iron daggers. Now I can make myself an iron hunting knife. I think that helps with butchering. I'm not entirely familiar with the mod, to be honest with you. But iron daggers it is until I, until I run out. I don't quite care what I get. I just kind of want the experience, I guess. I, I really wanted that, that to work out, but just the way that I'm doing this playthrough doesn't make it worth my time, you know? It's not worth my time to sit there, wait, cast, wait, cast, wait, cast, wait, cast, wait, and then have to eat after each time I wait. It's burning through money, then it's, it's saving. It's a pain in the ass. I guess I can use all this leather, turn into leather strips. You'll save up a lot of weight, because fucking leather is heavy, dude. Uh, eventually I want to get a tent. But, yeah. I think I have a little bit more iron on me. Yeah, I just I ran out of leather strips. Oh, I'll probably make myself a sword, too. Not for me, just like to make it. I just, I just kind of... <laughs> I'm getting... Annoyed, I want to be done with this blacksmithing. There's better ways to do it, and this isn't the way that I want to do it. Maybe when I get to later game, when I can craft like dragon stuff, if I make it to later game. I don't know. I might just rely off the kindness of strangers, and by that I mean stealing off corpses and then selling and then buying better stuff. But we done here. I'm just gonna sell to her. So I walked my ass back to the hunter's camp just to make sure I didn't like forget anything. Uh, because I know I, I, I need these tusks here because I can give it to a chicken white run to help with like a miscellaneous quest. And I know for certain I triggered that. Mm, I got all the iron, I think. But I know for certain I triggered that bear trap. That's fucking weird. Maybe the game doesn't, there's some shit I dropped. I'll pick it up and sell it. The bodies are gone. That's not alarming. 
I'll take that though. There's a mammoth that I can't butcher for some reason. It's like he's never alive. It's like he spawned dead. I guess, and this table's intact. That's spooky. I'll take that silver ore. Thank you. Uh, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> it's cool when the stuff breaks, but it's not cool when the stuff comes back together. But I guess I'm going to sleep in this guy's bed again after... I guess I missed some iron. Nothing in here. Yeah. I'm going to sleep in this guy's bed and probably end it here, guys. Until next time. This is just a little thank you at the end of the last episode of the the first month of five episodes a, a week. Five five videos a week. I'm doing this unscripted, so it's it's a little off. I just thought I'd add in a, a personal thank you for watching all of these. Uh, I hope you enjoyed some of them. There's there's some that I had more fun with than others. Uh, I'll probably make a, a separate thank you video, but at the end of these like sets, I'd like to add one. A very, very special thank you for watching all the Skyrim videos. I've really enjoyed Skyrim, and I'm, I'm definitely going to play some more and get this challenge complete. We're going to 100% guys. Just bear with me, and hope we'll have another month of more Skyrim videos, and I won't have to restart, because, oh, that will I'll trigger me something good. Till then, my friends. Dope. Eat em up, beat em up, beat em up, beat em up. Dope, dope. Eat em up, beat em up, beat em up, beat em up. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Eat em up, beat em up, beat em up, beat em up. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Eat em up, beat em up, beat em up, beat em up.